Hi, Dave with Align Therapy. We're going to talk today about why it's important to do scoliosis specific exercise with a specific technique of treating scoliosis. Uh, this is Milena. She's my, my model today. Wave to the camera, Milena. There you go. Um, she has been really good to help me out with modeling some of these videos. And with her curve, I want to show you a couple of things scoliosis wise why we use scoliosis specific exercise. But before that, I want to talk about how most physical therapists are trained in scoliosis treatment. We learn about scoliosis treatment in school. Well, we learn about scoliosis in school. We learn what it is, um, but we only spend about 15 minutes on the, the treatment and diagnosis of scoliosis. Compare that with my scoliosis specific exercise training, which has been uh, I don't even know how many hours at this point. So there's a big difference between those who have been trained in scoliosis treatment and PTs in general. And for most PTs, they're not going to see a lot of scoliosis, so it makes sense. But if you're going for treatment with scoliosis, it needs to be with someone who's been trained in a specific method for scoliosis treatment. Uh, lately in the research, they're called PSSE exercises, physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise. I shorten it a little bit and call it scoliosis specific exercise because it's kind of a mouthful with the physiotherapeutic. Um, so there are different methods of treating scoliosis and those that have been researched have been found to be effective uh, in helping scoliosis. So I want to talk about why the regular view of physical therapists on scoliosis is not the most effective. So go ahead and let's look at Melena from the back. Um, Milena has a thoracal lumbar curve, which curves to the right side like this. Her pelvis sits to the left a little bit. You can see a little more of a, of a waistline here than here. And her pelvis wants to sit to the left. So that's her curve right there. But we also have a rotation associated with her curve. So it curves this way, but it also rotates this way. So the lower ribs here rotate back on the right side and her lower ribs on the left side rotate forward. These bones on the lumbar spine also rotate back. So if you look at her back, she has more of a prominence here. This is all rotated backward because the ribs here and the spine are rotated forward and this is rotated back. So we have to keep in mind the rotation because it's a big part of the scoliosis that, that Milena has. So in general physical therapy, we learn that we are supposed to stretch the concavity and strengthen the convexity. So the idea is that we open the concavity and we stretch the muscles that are tight in there, and then we strengthen the convexity to try and push the spine over to the left side. Um, conceptually, it makes sense. You know, we'd want to stretch those things that are tight and strengthen those things that are, that are weak. The problem is both sides are weak in a way, um, there's not one side that's way stronger than the other side, and that, that view doesn't take into account any of the rotation that is happening. It also doesn't take into account that Melina likes to sit with her trunk to the right and her pelvis to the left. She doesn't like to do that, she doesn't really have a choice because the scoliosis curve is pushing her that way. So when we have a curve like that and a rotation, we have to address all of those, all of those planes. Uh, in three dimensions to get a good correction. So if we just stretch here and we just strengthen here, this muscle here gets too overworked and we can end up having pain on that right side. Most of the time with scoliosis, when they have pain, most of the time it's on the convex side of the curve where we have the muscles that are trying to control what's happening. So if I push on Milena here, you can see that she slouches a little more, but she also goes this way, and these muscles are trying to stop that from happening, but they kind of get overworked with that. So we don't want to ask more of these muscles. We want to ask more out of all of the muscles to correct the pelvis, correct your posture, and then to open the concave side. We use breathing techniques a lot because the lungs can really help us to do those things. But we don't want to ask more out of the muscles that are already overworked. So if you're being seen in physical therapy for scoliosis 
and it's helping fantastic with with pain or with uh, with the curve uh, great you know keep doing it if it seems like there's something missing or if you want the best results possible look for someone who's who's trained in scoliosis specific exercise the Schroth method the C's approach there are a few other method methods that are out there as well but make sure it's something that's specific so that you're getting specific treatment for your curve type. The harder thing as well, if we have two curves, which side do we strengthen? Which side do we stretch? If we're looking at just the basic model of strengthen the convexity and stretch the concavity. So hopefully that helps to see the difference between different methods of treatment. And we still incorporate some strengthening, but we also want to specifically work with treating what's going on in the spine in the individual person. So hopefully this is helpful, and if you have any questions, you can refer to our website or give us a call.